I have a bird warbler behind me and it has stopped speaking as well as I would like. The construction is essentially two pipes that are tritone apart and they are dipped upside down in a mixture of purified water and canola oil. The oil helps the water from evaporating so quickly. I actually, in order to help that also, I put a towel over top of this. It's plenty loud, even for a space that seats 1100. So the towel just helps it even more with the evaporation. But now I, I actually don't think that I have the evaporation problem. What I learned after about six months in is that the mixture of oil and water, it actually uh, forms like what looks like a gel and uh, or little egg yolks uh, circling all around and they probably get stuffed up inside the pipes a little bit. Uh, obviously when I'm blowing air into this it blows from here down that probably clears it out a little bit but nonetheless you can hear there's some gunk in there. So now I'm making this little tutorial on how you can not only keep a bar bird warbler sounding for a, an extended amount of time we're talking five six months if you treat it right but also how to troubleshoot it for when things are going wrong here is our bird warbler to the right you have a bee a bee i guess and to the left you have an f this turns a little bit so when there's minor fluctuations in the liquid you can just twist it a little bit and that usually solves the problem i've already cleaned up a good uh, inch of gunk. Uh, okay, if I can get the light right to my headlamp. It just looks like one giant egg yolk. It is not pleasant to work with. You have to be very careful. You don't want to get anything into the mouth of the pipe, of course, and also you don't want to get it all over the floor or the outside. So I just very carefully, I use a spoon. Clearly this is stuff I'm just going to throw away when I'm done see how it just shaves off and your job is to go fishing. I'm guessing that it'll take you about 15 minutes or so to, to get enough of the stuff that it is worth your effort. Every organist should know how to do this stuff so that you don't have to rely on an organ tuner every six months because this is going to probably waste in 30 minutes, 45 minutes of an organ tuner's time and that's hundreds of dollars. So you got to do this yourself. Believe it or not, I have now gotten out the majority of the content that I wanted to withdraw. I can add a little bit of water and oil as I see fit. It's just a guessing game at this point. And eventually I am going to be confident that this will last another five to six months. Not only with the mixture, but also with my handy rag over there. It really does save the day. So I'm going to turn it on and it's not going to sound good. The pipes are no longer suspended in anything because I've gotten out enough oil. You saw about an, an inch and a half or two inches of uh, congealed oil and uh, it's just sounding pretty much a tritone. Here's our pajaritos. I'm going to leave that running and go all the way do, 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 through there. Oh, there's a lovely tritone. Beautiful, beautiful and uh, I will see you up there. I usually use the bird warbler not in extended um, phrases like this, but just short little bursts, tweet, 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 
which I can do, of course, with the Tosta down here. It sounds really good in uh, Hymns of Joy. Uh, there's one, birds and fountain, something like that. So the longer that you leave a bird warbler on, the more annoying it might be. But little bursts, and this can be played at a pretty mezzo forte volume in a hymn or accompaniment. Just uh, it ha yeah, has plenty of sound to it. So that's it. I will see you next time.